What up, YouTube family? I know it's been a minute. I've been very, very busy with a lot of stuff. I'm now working not one, not two, but three jobs. I might quit one of them, though, because they're really getting on my damn nerves. But um, other than that, like I said, been very busy. Got new glasses. Still need to shave. Don't give a care. But I am here to bring you this wonderful, wonderful video in which we talk about an invention that no man on the face of this earth can even replicate because it's the greatest thing. nobody has ever thought about this until recently and you will never ever ever see this item anywhere else because right now I'm going to spend the next 30 seconds being very sarcastic about this dumb commercial that follows the exact format of almost all YouTube ads and I'm gonna go over with you that exact same format. All right, here, so here goes the video. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you. If it'll play. For special forces and couldn't be sold to civilians. When an ex-special forces operator read it. Hold up, let's go back. Now, look at this light. Look at this flashlight, right? It said, let's go, let's go back here. Let's backtrack, let's backtrack, let's backtrack. This is the flashlight. Said it was designed for special forces and couldn't be sold to civilians. But yet, if I go to, oh my God, Amazon has the exact same flashlight. Oh wow, there's another one. That looks exactly the same on Amazon. 2104, right? I save 87 cents when I do that. This one's 16 and two more sixes okay that's an evil flashlight but you get the point they sit up there and literally say that you can't find this flashlight on any other website you can't get it anywhere else which we already know these YouTube ads are bullcrap but we're not talking about the flashlight we're gonna break down how stupid the YouTube ads are but you turn around right and then you claim that nobody else can get this flashlight anywhere while not realizing you're using a flashlight that's already well known this flashlight I had 10 years ago, that design has been out for over 10 years because I use one small LED which is in there and all you do is turn the top and what it does is the further you turn it, the, the uh, 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 smaller the beam of light becomes. The wider you turn it, the wider the beam, the closer you turn it. So when you turn it close, the wider the beam of light goes. It has one LED light in that flashlight. I know because I used to own three of them long time ago and this is like yeah it, it had to be about almost 10 years ago these flashlights aren't new nor are they some flashlights you can't let matter of fact let's let the commercial play and then we can go and break down how stupid this ad is when an ex-special forces operator redesigned the flashlight for civilian use while retaining all its functions for survival or self-defense he used to love the flashlights when he was serving his country he memorized the design and technology so he could build one at home when he did, he was quickly visited by lawyers, telling him that he couldn't copy the design exactly or he would get in trouble. He saw this as an opportunity to improve upon it and change things that bothered him when he was on missions using it. He adapted it for better survival and home use. It still has all the same functions, strength, and technology as the military version. But now, it's perfectly legal to own. He's the only one manufacturing it, having explicit permission to make and sell these in the U.S. He chose to call his product O-Spot Light. O-Spot Light is the most powerful flashlight ever made. Check out the difference yourself. It even beats a car's headlights with ease. O-Spot Light is made from the same purified aluminum and titanium they use on the latest fifth generation fighter aircraft to withstand enormous pressure and heat. Meaning that the O-Spot Light is indestructible, it's completely waterproof and strong enough to withstand both freezing temperatures and boiling water, as well as flaming hot fire. You can even run it over, and it will keep working. Okay. So, let's go and break down how dumb these YouTube ads are. Now, for special forces the, and couldn't the, be sold to... The reason why I'm picking this specific YouTube ad because these YouTube ads all follow the exact same format. First, they claim somebody come up with a, a, a invention that is going to di disrupt this billion-dollar industry. Then they claim lawyers say they can't copy the design exactly. 
Then they turn around and, and, and say, oh, he changed it, but uh, now he made it for civilian use. Then they try to give you this whole, oh, while supplies last in limited time, oh, but we're going to give you a discount and you can't find us anywhere else. All these things they try to do to mess with your head to make you think you got to hurry up and buy this product. Now, let's go ahead and break down this video and show you how dumb 99% of this crap sounds. Oh, also as well, all these YouTube apps do the exact same thing. What do they do? They use this stupid robotic voice, right? Now, it, it this method is it, actually based off an actual method that exists. I forgot what the man's name is. I don't feel like looking it up right now because it's going to take me a longer time to look it up than it for me to just finish the video. But these ads are very deceptive. They have ads like that that was for the air chill, which you see has low reviews on the air chill itself. Very low. This art chip. This exact exact Arctic air chill, which they tried to at first put off as a portable air conditioner, that literally has 3.1 stars out of 11,000, almost 12,000 ratings on Amazon. So th remember, remember the commercial with the Arctic chill? Oh, they're disrupting the billion-dollar uh, uh, AC industry, and this kid from so and so came up with this idea and all this and that. All it is, is an air cooler. It's a simple air cooler that gets filled with ice and it supposed to blow the cold air that comes off the ice. It's a swamp cooler. It does nothing else. But these, this ad for the Arctic Chill and the other ad for this uh, flashlight here are the only, or one of the few examples of ads that do this exact same format. And they all do this format. So let's say this. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Same. Civilians. When an ex special forces operator redesigned the flat so, when it misses and couldn't be sold to civilians. When an ex special said it couldn't be sold to civilians. We already proved that wrong. We found it on Amazon, right? And it's been on Amazon way before this ad was even freaking created. Let's keep going. It said ex special forces uh, operator redesigned the flashlights for civilian use. Now, there have been several times where they already proved that the people that they show in these videos are not even the actual people that they're talking about. I'm surprised these people don't sue them, but they're probably getting paid to use their videos and their image, just like they claim the kid. It, th that kid was for a completely different video that, th that was for the Arctic Air Chill. And you will see the Arctic Air Chill video. I gotta find that video. I have not been able to capture it yet because they haven't brought it back up. So I can break down that video, but let's break this down because it follows the same format. Forces operator redesigned the flashlight for civilian use while retaining all its functions for survival or self-defense. So, if you're making a flashlight that special forces use, but you had to create it for civilians. But it retains all its function for survival and self-defense. So. Okay, so what what are you, what are you designing? What are you doing? How, how, wh what was the redesign about? If you're literally making the same thing that has all the same functions, retains all the same functions as the original product, what is the purpose of you redesigning it in the first place? Is it to make it smaller? Is it to make it affordable, like using different materials? Because it said it was using titanium. Uh, we'll get to that point. He used to love the flashlights when he was serving his country. He memorized the design and technology so he could build one at home. Here's the thing. Where he have access to the design? Where, where he have access to the design? When we get equipment to use, they don't give us the freaking blueprint. I'm trying not to cuss because I realize this is a YouTube video. They don't give us the darn blueprints for the design. We, 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 don't, we don't get the blueprints for the design. We don't. So why are you turning around and saying that he memorized the design and built it at home? Who the heck would sit there and memorize the design for a flashlight to turn around and build it at home without having access to all the materials in order to build that flashlight at home now listen to this next dumb part when he did he was quickly visited by lawyers so he made some at home and he was quickly visited by lawyers are the lawyers psychic do they have a camera in this man's house where they know what he's doing in the house he, he's quickly visited by lawyers while designing something in his own home 
Do you realize how much stuff I, I designed? I, I'm breaking apart right now this part right here for the solar battery, right? So I, I, I want to build my own solar battery, right? I want to design my own solar battery. So, and I'm using these, uh, what is these, uh, TX60 cords to, you know, to do it and all that type of stuff. So if I'm, I don't see any lawyers showing up. I've had that thing broke down for almost a month. I didn't see any lawyers showing up. Am I going to disrupt the billion dollar solar industry? I wonder. Telling him that he couldn't copy the design exactly or he would get in trouble. Now, they say he couldn't copy the design exactly. Again, are lawyers psychic? Do they really know how he copied the exact design? Who did he show or talk to in order for lawyers to come to his home and tell him he couldn't copy the design exactly? Everybody knows that's plagiarism. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that's copyright infringement, not plagiarism. I got that wrong. Everybody knows that is copyright infringement. You cannot copy an design exactly. Everybody knows what that is. So why would a special forces, a highly trained soldier, turn around and make that mistake? Get out of here, man. Get out of here with that. He saw this as an opportunity to improve upon it and change things that bothered him when he was on missions using it. Okay, okay, so he took the exact design because he loved it so much. The, let me tell you the contradictions. He took the exact design because he loved it so much, right? And he changed it and made it exactly the same, right, while changing it. And when he designed it at home, he was visited by lawyers who told him they can't copy the design exactly. So then he turned around and said it gave him an opportunity to improve upon it because he couldn't improve upon it until the lawyers came. And to change things that bothered him. But he loved it so much that he made it with all the functions. And, and copy design exactly for civilian use. Okay, let's move on. He adapted it for better survival. And That's not even the same damn flashlight. Wait a second. Wait a second. Th that's a completely different flashlight for survival and home use it still has all the same functions strength different and technology flashlight. as the military another version. different flashlight but now it's perfectly legal to own he's the only one manufacturing hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. if y'all really good at spotting cgi right look at this 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 hold on, hold on. tell me why Oh my God. Okay, you see where the mouse is? Look at this area right here where the mouse is. Why is this floating over it? Right? Why, why is that floating over it? It looked like they just took it and just took the witch call and just tilted it at an angle. Matter of fact, let's go back and break it down really quickly. Okay, let's break it down. Let's see if we can break it down within the seconds, right? Now, look, look how this moves. This is not even on the flashlight, bro. There's an indentation in this area you can see right here on the flashlight, right? So if that's on there, first of all, it wouldn't even show up that bright. Second of all, it itself will have a reflection from the light that's coming off that will match the light that's hitting that. Third of all, see this indentation right here? How this looks like it steps up? That light would have went with the curvature of that, but instead it's going directly flat right over it. They couldn't even, oh my God. Okay, let's keep going. He's the only one manufacturing it, having explicit... He's the only one manufacturing it. He, he's the only one... He's the only one manufacturing it. Atomic Beam's not... Atomic Beam's not doing it. Atomic Beam's not doing it. They're they're not designing it. Ge Gear lights, Gear lights, Gear lights not designing it. Ge they're they're not designing it. He's the only one. <laughs> Permission to make and sell these in the U.S. He chose to call his product O Spotlight. O Spotlight is the most powerful flashlight ever made. Wrong is not the most powerful flashlight ever made. As a matter of fact, there are flashlights that can do up to 1,000 to 3,000, even 9,000 lumens. 
They get really hot really fast, but they can do it. Hey, check out the difference yourself. It even beats a car's headlights with ease. Both spotlight is made from the same purified aluminum and titanium they use on the latest fifth generation fighter aircraft to withstand enormous pressure and heat. Meaning that the O-Spot light is indestructible. It's completely waterproof. Now, if now if y'all didn't notice the stupidity in that scene, right? So I showed all these other flashlights just get basically destroyed, like just tore apart. And that one, it didn't get touched at all. But l let me ask you a question. Why is it that these flashlights that got destroyed, got pushed in the dirt, but this one's still sitting on top of the dirt? Even if it didn't get destroyed, it still, because of the pressure of the tank, would have got pushed down in the damn dirt. Now, look, look at this scene real quick. Look at this scene real quick. We're going to look at something real quick. Now, see, see, see the placement of the flashlights, right? Now, look. See how they got this one at the lowest point. And this one... It's sitting up at the highest point, right? And then you got these other flashlights here, right? Of course, that's plastic. That's plastic. That's plastic. That's metal. What the heck you think is going to happen to the plastic, right? Let, let's go. Watch this. Watch this. And then if you pay attention to the tank that goes over it, you will see a cut in the scene. Watch. Close. Meaning that the old spot light is indestructible. Here's the cut. It's completely waterproof and strong enough. It couldn't even show the other two flashlights that was at the back. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. To withstand both freezing temperatures and boiling water, as well as flaming hot fire, you can even run it over and it will keep working. Dude. Dude. Do you realize how embarrassing that is for y'all to sit up there these YouTube ads doing this. They always claim that they're disrupting some multi-billion dollar industry and that you have to get it now and act fast. And they always play the same robotic voices. You ain't got to act fast on nothing. First of all, these YouTube ads are fake and they're phony. Don't pay attention to any of them, all right? So, if you're looking for a good product, just go and shop around. Don't be believing what these YouTube ads... Don't click on them either. Don't give them your information. They're all scams. I'm going to try to find another video of another scam that shows up. But, man, that was the most ridiculous scam of them all. All right, then. Be safe while I smack you in the face. I'll see you later.